What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Alienware M18 with a 7900M, and this is pretty much just a PSA video. Now, what is it about? Well, it appears as though the drivers that come from AMD actually just work now without black screening or anything like that. And I think I know what happened last time because I know I've already made this video once before, but I, now I know what happened and why I thought that before and why this time it's just straight up AMD had to have fixed it. So we'll go over real quick, hop onto my main computer so we can actually like do some screen recorded stuff because that's a lot easier for you guys to see than me trying to point a camera at a screen, you know? It's fine for the camera recorded gameplay, but when you want to show somebody something on the internet, it's not really that cool to just point your camera at the screen. So let's move over there real quick and I'll explain and then I'll prove to you that it's fixed. All right, so here's the drivers from the Dell website here. So as you can see, their latest ones are from April 9th of this month and it disabled the anti-lag technology so you avoid anti-cheats now or you avoid getting banned. So that's good, but it would suck to have to have waited from December till now to get that fixed, so yeah, not very cool, but yeah. I think what happened last time is I basically had this coincide with the new driver update. They happened to actually get it done at around the same time, so that's why I thought it, the issue was fixed the last time. But this time, the drivers are completely different. So let's go check that out. So this time, the actual AMD drivers are from 24, or uh, 2024-425, which is today, as you can see right there. And it's 2441. The other one is 2331 or 2, I believe. It's hard to remember all these little dot numbers and whatnot. But in any case, though, you should be just fine downloading this. I will now go and show you guys Cyberpunk working on the laptop screen, where before it would not even let me into Windows without black screening most of the time. Well, all right, guys, now that I showed you what I think happened and everything last time, and that this new driver is too new for it just to be the driver on the Dell website, which is what I think happened last time. I think I just happened to download the same driver from Dell as from the AMD website. So I thought, oh yeah, everything's good now. It finally works, but that's not the case this time. This time, the other ones like at the beginning of the month, this one's almost at the end of the month. It's so much newer. So it should work and hopefully it will stay working. And obviously I will make updates if it stops working, but now let me show you that it works. So obviously if you come up here and hit that button, it comes and gives you your little screen thing. So you can do your second screen, extend, duplicate, whatnot. So we're gonna just say PC screen. So now we're back on the actual laptop screen. So. I'm just gonna move you guys on over and then let's go try to launch something. Let's just try to launch Cyberpunk because what it would do before is it might get me into the game or it would just black screen right upon entering Windows. Sometimes it would give me the desktop, but anytime I'd load a game, it would go, no. Oh, it loves to start minimized for some reason. It does that on all my systems. It's a goofy game. It scared me for a second. There's like, hey, it's supposed to be a video of me showing you that, that it works now, not a video of it failing to work. It scared me for a second there. But yeah, it would have already black screened before, but let's just go in here, go to video. So it's at the native res. Let's just go run a benchmark real quick and see if it can get through the benchmark. I don't know why, but this game has lots of stuttering audio after an update that happened recently. And it does that on all of my shit. It never used to do that. So I always thought that was a little weird. Yes, yes, we know we can hit and shift Y to see your stupid crap. I need to just disable that crap. I don't even think I have the background utility that that thing uses anymore. I'm willing to bet if I click on it, it's probably not even gonna show any info, but I forgot I don't have a mouse on this screen, so I can't even check it. <laughs> I was gonna go check to see if it even does anything, but nope, we're in the middle of a benchmark, can't do that. But yeah, when you're only playing at 1080p on something like this, holy shit, you get a lot of FPS. And these are pretty high graphics with no FSR or nothing helping it out, I don't believe. We'll see when we get to the end of the run, but I don't think I had FSR on. Maybe it clicked itself on or something, and that's why it's getting so many. But at the end of the benchmark, you can't lie. It tells you whether or not DLSS, FSR, or what is that Intel one? EXEE -E or something like that? Yeah, it tells you at the end of the benchmark if any of those are turned on. So as long as you're doing it live, you can't really lie. So we'll see. It's only got a couple more seconds. Nope, there was no resolution scaling on. So that's 113 average, 84 minimum, and 146 max. So that would be a very smooth experience right there. But 
Not, it's not black screening or nothing? Oh yeah, I wanted to see. Oh, it's not gonna let me click on it. Well, whatever, fuck that stupid thing then. I hate that little window. I just need to disable it next time I actually have a chance. Once I get to the desktop, it'll let me, but that's pretty cool. So it seems like now you guys can use the laptop screen again. And I don't see why it would all of a sudden stop working now, because like I said, this is not the same driver that Dell has available right now. This is much newer. So I don't see why the next one they'd go, oh, well, we had support for 480 hertz. Well, you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna get rid of it. That doesn't sound like a smart thing to do. I don't think AMD would do that. They probably just finally got off their ass and added that shit because a bunch of people, including me, kept on just literally sending them a bunch of emails saying, hey, your freaking Alienware M18 with a 79 m don't work. Make it work, please. And they probably were like, okay, we'll get on it eventually. And it took till now, but I think we're finally in the clear. But in any case, why don't we go wrap this video on up now? Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for this little PSA video. It appears that the new AMD drivers work and you can finally use the screen and not rely on an external monitor because not everybody wants to do that. You know, some people just want to use it as a desktop replacement at home and then actually take the thing around as a laptop, you know? So now, unless for some odd reason, they just make the next drivers suck and make it go back to black screening, I think we're in the clear, which I will, of course, let you guys know if that happens. But for now, I think as long as the next drivers don't uh, mess up, I will finally be ready to recommend this thing to people. And hopefully it's had a bunch of price cuts too. 2700 bucks plus was a little bit of a tall order. I think 1700 to like 2300 or something would be a much better price for something like this. Because it's got to be competitive with the 4080s. If it's not competitive with the 4080 laptops, what's the point? It's pretty much just about as powerful as those. It wins in some games, loses in others. But then, of course, NVIDIA's got that badass DLSS technology. FSR's okay. Still not nowhere near DLSS quality yet. But... Hopefully it'll get there. Although I don't know if it even can, unless they start relying on AI to help them out like, like Nvidia is doing. And if I know Nvidia, they probably have all that shit on lockdown, copyrighted the shit out of all of it, you know? Or I guess in their terms, it would be patenting it, but we will see. But this thing's still got a little extra VRAM, but at 1080p, you don't really need 16 gigs of VRAM. But if you're gonna hook it up to a 1440p or a 4K screen, well, then maybe you could use that. The other one only has 12, 4080. So 12's fine for now, but I don't know. We'll see in a couple years. It's close enough to like what the consoles have, so I'd say it's pretty much okay. But a lot of people on PC don't want their computer to only be as powerful as the la uh, consoles. You know, they want to be able to be like, hey, take that console, peasants. I'm not like that, but I know a lot of PC people are. I just think the consoles are a great value for money, but I don't like all of the butts that come along with them, especially something like the Switch. The Switch 2 or Pro or whatever the hell they're gonna call it can't come soon enough. Although at this point, I think I'm always probably just gonna like rip the shit off of them and play it on something like my main computer. But anyway, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it's finally gonna be nice to hopefully recommend this laptop soon. I'm gonna wait one more driver update before I get ahead of myself and claim that it's 100% stable and go buy it now. But. Like I said, I don't foresee them making it uh, like not work in the next one. That would make no sense, but we'll see. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.